Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Reach coming to you here with the news that, uh, as of right now, Dana White is reporting that Brock Lesnar is officially retiring from UFC. He will take himself out of the USADA drug pool. Um, the fight that uh, we have been hyping up for, I believe, well over a year um, of Daniel Cormier versus Brock Lesnar looks like it is never going to happen. Um, you know, Brock Lesnar had a very unique uh, fighting career when he fought for UFC. Of course, that would be after him, you know, walking away, um, uh, being a two-year uh, professional WWE wrestler where he was a WWE World Heavyweight Champion, where he was a WrestleMania main eventer. He decided that, you know, wrestling wasn't for him because he didn't really like the travel. Decided that he was going to try to play professional football. I think that after leaving football, after being cut by the Minnesota Vikings, uh, I think he tried boxing and that sort of just rolled into him uh, fighting uh, for UFC. He did have one event uh, in Los Angeles, which was like a, uh, I, I guess you can call it some kind of minor league MMA um, show. I've never seen the fight, honestly, myself, but that is the fight that led to him getting signed um, by UFC, which led to him having the match against Frank Mir. Um, his first professional fight, uh, he actually lost. Uh, he sort of dominated the fight, but the second Frank Mir uh, was able to lock in uh, a submission lock on him. Brock Lesnar was sort of exposed uh, to being really young uh, in the world of MMA and immediately tapped out. Um, you know, for, from somebody that was just watching the fight from the outside in, who's not the biggest UFC fan at the time, I, I really thought that uh, Lesnar dominated the match, but you could really see that he really had a lot to learn from there. Um, even though he lost that first fight, I don't know if he ended up um, having another fight before going immediately after um, getting a shot to win uh, the UFC Heavyweight Championship where he beat Randy Couture. Um, from there, he was able to defend it against Frank Mir in the rematch of his first fight, um, and then lost it uh, to Cain Velasquez um, in 2010. Of course, that was um, a weird night in the world of professional wrestling. At that time, uh, Vince McMahon uh, was trying to get Dana White uh, to let um, him borrow Brock Lesnar to use him at WrestleMania 27. They were supposed to have some sort of an angle set up. Um, where Undertaker and Brock Lesnar were going to get into a brawl backstage at UFC due to the fact that uh, Brock lost that fight. We did get a little bit of an interaction between the two, but I don't think the angle went as far uh, as it was supposed to. Um, from there, Brock Lesnar sat on the sideline battling diverticulitis, which he sort of blamed uh, for the loss to Cain Velasquez. Uh, he ended up returning uh, to WWE a year later after WrestleMania 28, uh, and then, you know, wrestling for them until 2016, when the UFC money was too good, UFC ended up bringing him back as a headliner to fight against Mark Hunt at UFC 200, uh, where he would have a positive drug test, um, which would make him sit on the sideline. One of the reasons why I think the Daniel Cormier fight was you know, brought to the light of day, and then all of a sudden somebody realized, oh, Brock still needs to live out the suspension, um, and it, it, it's never going to happen. So it, it is a very weird thing, you know, when I think of Brock Lesnar, I honestly do think of the UFC, but I do think of him as being more of a WWE guy first, um, but as, as I think of him being a UFC fighter, having only eight fights, it seems like in my mind he would have had more, but I guess he just wasn't really full time with the UFC as long as my mind remembers. So I'm sure that when it all comes down, I'm sure that he will be a UFC Hall of Famer um, sooner than later. Um, but this sort of means that uh, Brock's WWE career is going to go on as long as uh, Vince McMahon lets him fight. Um, his current schedule, where he, only, he only wrestles a couple times a year and uh, sort of is always being put over as being one of the biggest names in the company 
and doesn't really have to lose that much. So we'll see what comes from here. We know that Brock Lesnar is going to fight at the Saudi Arabia event, uh, more than likely being involved with some sort of a match with Seth Rollins. Um, I can honestly hope as a WWE fan, he is nowhere near the WWE Universal or World Heavyweight Championship anytime because when that guy takes off with that title and he's gone forever, it just really makes it hard for me to get involved with wrestling at that time. So we'll see what goes down with this one. Peace out, everybody.